Using the traditional method, you can solve such questions in usually three to four minutes. However, here I am giving the answer just in one line. Watch it out. Oh yes, you can write this answer in under five seconds. Probably the writing might take longer for you than you can think. To know the secret, watch out this video as I discuss the shortcut to find the derivative. So the form we are going to discuss over here is function raised to power function. Yes, we have discussed the conventional way of doing such problems using logarithmic differentiation. However, if you want to get the quick answer, then you just need to remember one small formula, which is write down the function as it is. Here, write gx upon fx into the derivative of the function plus log of the function into derivative of its power. And that's it. Let's take a quick example to understand this. Suppose my function is x raised to power cos x. Now as per the formula, I copy the function as it is. Now gx upon fx. So if this is my fx and this is my gx. So this becomes cos x by x into derivative of what you've written in the denominator which is 1 plus log of this function which is x into derivative of cos x which would be minus sin x. And that's it. Have a look at another simple one. So once again your derivative is you write the function as it is into gx which is always the power upon the function into the derivative of tan x which is secant square x plus log of the function into derivative of e to the power x which is e to the power x and that's it you have your answer. So now moving back to our original function if this is what we have let's copy the function as it is into we write this power which acts as your gx upon fx into derivative of cos 2x which would be minus 2 sin 2x plus log of my fx which is the original function here into the derivative of sin square x which will be 2 sin x cos x and perfect that's your answer. This form is really useful for the competitive exams. Even though you can't use this in your board exams, but you can always use it to verify your final answer. What you can use in the board exams is the logarithmic differentiation. So, I'll link that for you in the description box and you can get that by clicking at the i button. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that so far. I would see you with the next video. Until then, bye-bye.